Good afternoon, NCC PM friends. Good afternoon, Pastor Melissa. Hi, Pastor John. It's great to be with you all for this week's Yo NCCP. We are still celebrating what an awesome Sunday it was this Easter. All seven services were beautiful, and it was great to see so many of you come out to worship. Uh, so we're just riding that high all week long. And we'd like to thank all of you who, who attended or who uh, brought others so they could attend and also who helped out in various ways. All sorts of planning goes into Easter Sunday. Uh, well, every Sunday for that matter, and all sorts of help actually in doing the worship on Sunday. So we thank you for for all your assistance. And we don't miss a beat. We roll right into a new series this week, The Middle. The Middle. And so we're very excited. I'm very excited. And and we've been working hard on uh, looking at the first two chapters of the Bible from Genesis. In the beginning, the Bible starts. And we're going to look at those uh, two verses for a few weeks in a row, and we're going to look at the last two chapters of the Bible in Revelation, the new heaven and the new earth. Um, and so we're very excited about studying that scripture and then seeing what our response is to be life in the middle of those two chapters. And so it's just an exciting series, and we hope that you'll come and check it out. Um, I also want to take a minute to mention that this week at Green Mount is a special Sunday. It's the anniversary celebration, and the king is going to be there. Well, Jesus is there every week. <laughs> well, not that king. We're <laughs> actually going to have Elvis in worship for El- um, some gospel music. We're thankful uh, that Joe Forrester, who worships with us at Green Mount, will be sharing that gift he has. And he'll be singing gospel And he's going to be singing Elvis's gospel songs, which you love to sing. So we know you sang in church on Sunday. Can we get Elvis gospel for you on Yo NCCP? Uh, maybe next week. Maybe next week. But we um, are excited. There's lots of work that has gone in to celebrate the anniversary of of the church and uh, and so that will be a great time 945 is the worship if you want to come by and help out in the celebration of, of that faith community um, their roots and then of course still there is time to register for elevate our one day spiritual growth series where you can take part in one of three classes a faith and finance class a class on revelation that's being it's very popular so if you're thinking about being in that one you might want to go ahead and get your name on the list cuz as pastor John's preparing and then spiritual gifts where i'm going to give a class where we not only talk about the spiritual gifts in the bible but you'll have an opportunity to assess your gifts And then do some um, study about that to understand how God has gifted you as an individual and the way he he wants you to use those gifts in serving God's kingdom. And just quickly, um, faith and finance is a great class for couples, whether you've been married for 50 years or whether you're thinking about getting married. It's a great couples course, and we'd love to see some couples in that class. Uh, This week, to help out with some that may not have Internet access, and you can help us out with this. If you know someone that does not have Internet access to register or maybe they've missed that they could call on the phone, our home office, to register, uh, we're going to have inserts in the bulletin. All they have to do is put their name and which course, tear it off, put it in the offering plate, and you're registered. So help out with that. It uh, couldn't be any I was easier. Say, it can't get any easier than that. So we, because we wanted the, all the courses to be filled, because it's crucial that we continue to grow in our faith, and one of the ways we do that is through study of the Bible. That's right. Paul says, "Be transformed by the renewing of your minds." And so, if you're looking to just grow, this is the time and the place to do it. And uh, with that, we'll be saying goodbye, and we'll see you uh, this Sunday. Uh, at all of our worship settings. So come out and see us and spread the word in the name of Jesus the Christ. Amen. Go in peace.